Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed that nice photo montage. As for the Diamond Creek 2 fielding team, they are resuming, um, they are returning to the field for the resumption of play. Uh, despite giving plenty of overs to both Ramsey and Pierce uh, with the new ball, uh, they have been unable to take a wicket and now they've gone to their change bowlers of uh, the left arm medium of Farah and the off spin of Russell. So what is David Ramsey going to do? What are the Diamond Creek team going to do? Uh, they're facing a very big challenge here. Uh, none for 60 after the first quarter of a day's play is wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, considering that they're going at three and a half runs and over in the most difficult quarter because the new ball is the most difficult time to score so things will only get easier you would imagine as uh, the scene become starts to become stretched and old uh, the new ball the wax on the new ball starts to wear away and suddenly uh, it's not moving at all and it becomes really easy to hit around that is when huge huge questions are going to be brought to the Diamond Creek fielding team all right let's, when we get back we're going to see the resumption of play you're watching Channel 8 and welcome back so Stephen Farrer to bowl his third over from the child care center end And it's aggressively hit as a half volley and it bursts through the extra cover region. The mid off fielder runs around to collect it one run. And it seems that the uh, yellow capped batsman has switched over to the broad rim, which is my favourite cricket hat. And Ramsey tries to uh, bowl it about an off stump. The batsman shimmies over to try to play it as a hip clancy sort of shot. Unable to get the freedom through his arms to play it. And the NDM plotting it down onto the leg side, fielded there by mid wicket. Ramsey, uh, Farah into bowl, sorry. And it's wide, but, and yes, it is given a wide. So Farah, after bowling a couple of bad balls in his first over, has more or less gotten his length and line right, except for that last ball. And it's a wild hoosh. And oh, I thought that the batsman actually had made contact with that, but in the end, it hit his pads and dribbled out into the leg side, where the fielder, at, where the keeper, could actually collect it. So in the end, it, the ball didn't go anywhere. Farah into bowl and defended there. So Farah into bowl and it's a leg glanced and it beats the gap and the fielder at mid. Wicket has to chase it down, and they get him back for the two. Two more there. So you would imagine that when you're scoring at three and a half runs and over in the most difficult period of uh, the game, that you would expect to score four runs and over by the end of the day, assuming you've got wickets in hand, assuming that the ball gets old, assuming that scoring gets easier. Farah into bowl. So you'd be looking at a 300 score. That's the end of the over. It's none for 64. And so Russell, off spin, is going to be continuing to bowl from the childcare centre end. And ooh. So let's have a look at the field now. Fine legs on the fence. Square leg, mid wicket, mid on all in orthodox positions. Russell into bowl. Well, leg glanced off the hip, down to fine leg, and the fine leg fielder runs in, and it's just the one.
Now we'll have to see what happens to the change of the field. Cover is in short, point is a little further back, and then mid off is near to the fence, not quite on the fence, about 10 meters off the fence. Russell into bowl. And defended. Smothers it, stretching out to the pitch of the ball. So, um, just the one attacking fielder, which is the short cover. Other than that, uh, pretty orthodox and a little bit defensive. Russell into bowl. And it's a big shot, and the keeper collects it. So once again, as soon as the batsman thinks that that's the ball to attack, his eyes light up and he gets he shifts his body and goes for a big wallop. Russell into bowl, and it's comfortably pulled, a uh, kip glance, something, uh, down to fine leg for one run. Russell into bowl. Ooh, left alone, and that's the end of the over. It's uh, none for 66. So, Farah left our medium to continue. And, ooh! So, he had tried to advance at Farah, and Farah was up for the challenge because he bowled a wonderful Yorker, and the batsman was able to chop it down just in time to stop it. Farah into bowl. And another one, another Yorker by Farah. Great stuff. It's a uh, bowling Yorkers is a lot of hard work and Farah um, clearly uh, is trying to do this the way he shifts his fingers on the top of the ball. It's trying to, he's not trying to allow the ball to just kiss the pitch, it's really trying to throw it down there. Oh, so the, bat the um, keeper was blindsided by the batsman. The batsman shifted over to the off stump to play a full shot. In the end, it went over about leg stump. The keeper tried to go down the leg side but went way too far. In the end, he had to stretch out his right hand the opposite the way his body was going in order to stop it from going for buys. Farah to bowl. And all defender there, and it's a little bit of an outside edge down to third man, but the fielder at point runs around to stop it. So another dot ball. That's four in a row for Farah and five in a row for Diamond Creek too. It's at least something to work on. Build up the dot balls, build up the pressure. Farah into bowl. And it's a wild hit, and the fielder at fine leg throws it in and they just get the one run. Now, that was, um, that was very lucky because the fielder at fine leg is not on the fence and if that had have been five meters to his left or right, that would have been four. Farah into bowl and left alone. End of the over, good one for Diamond Creek. It's 67 for no loss. Okay, so Russell is to continue to bowl. I'm not sure what happened there. It was a shortish. He went for the hip glance. In the end, it bounced a bit more than. Uh, he thought it would, it hit his five pad and it squirted out to short fine leg for a dot ball. Russell into bowl. And it's a wild hit, but uh, again, hits the pads and he goes down to mid wicket, uh, goes to uh, the uh, field of, of, of a square leg. And is another dot ball. So the batsman trying to play shots onto the leg side, not getting it right and it hits his body. And in the end, uh, two, hit, two times it's hit the pad. And they're talking about what to do with this field. Okay, so they've made some changes. Actually, they haven't. It's the same field. Russell into bowl and smothered. 
attempts to smother it, and in the end, he doesn't get to the pitch of the ball, and it's an inside edge into his torso. So once again, once again, as long as you pitch the ball short of a covered of a short of a um, Russell into ball, and it's a play to miss. So four dot balls, four bad shots from the batsman. As long as you don't bowl a half volley and allow the ball to pitch and bounce and spin, you can get the batsman into all sorts of trouble. Russell into bowl. And oh, that was a bit short, and the keeper was unable to take it. The batsman left it alone. Another dot ball, not as good uh, for, the, for Russell. Uh, point is about five metres further back. Mid off is about five metres further back. Russell into bowl. And left it alone. Maiden there for Russell. It's still 67 for none. So Farah is to continue to bowl from the river end. Farah into bowl. And it's glanced off the toes, and the two fielders, a fine leg and square leg, have to run around. And in the end, the square leg fielder beats the chase, and they get two there. So the work that Diamond Creek have put into reducing the run rate shouldn't, even though they have conceded runs here and there all the while, it's still significant. So the run rate now is about three runs per over when it was just short of four about half an hour ago. Farah, oh, it's Farah bowls short and wide. The batsman tries to play a big cut shot. In the end, it hits at the toe of the bat, and it just the, hits out harmlessly, fielded there by point for a dot ball. So that the question is, can Diamond Creek squeeze it even more to less than three runs per over? And Farah bowls a full toss, and the batsman harmlessly pushes it to mid on for another dot ball. Because if you can get the, the run rate into the twos, then pressure will be put onto Riverside. How are you going to get the runs? Oh! <laughs> that ball bounced much more than um, what the batsman was expecting. He um, started to play a pull shot, and then he noticed it was bouncing, so he get his, got his uh, glove underneath. In the end, it looked like a comfortable leave, but uh, he had to change his mind at the last second to avoid uh, getting a glove to that ball. Far into bowl, and left alone that time. That time the batsman was up for it. He realised that he needed to be careful, and he watched the ball very carefully, and as soon as he thought that the ball was un, uh, unimpressive, or not the ball that he should be playing at, he left it alone. So Farah, some good stuff from him, into bowl, and at the hip, tries to play the hip glance and fails. So just the two runs off the over, it's a 69 for no loss. So Russell to continue from the childcare centre end. He's been bowling very well. As always, he's very he's a very impressive bowler. Russell into bowl. And oh <laughs> the batsman tries to play a hip glance. The ball bounces and uh, bounces and spins much more than he thought it would, uh, both missing the bat and uh, both on length and turn. In the end, uh, hits the pat, hits the hip. And it's a wild hit, wild hit, but they're going to concede a bye. Disappointing there. Russell into bowl. Oh! Tries to play a uh, leg drive, but in the end gets an inside edge and it goes down to fine length for a dot ball. Russell has been bowling so impressive. Every second ball, the batsman misplays it. He just, they just cannot ca handle both the spin and the bounce of Russell. And it's a pull shot, and oh dear, that's gone. No, actually no, there's a fielder there. There's a fielder there at the fence on um, uh, squarish fine legs, so just the one run. Uh -huh. 
Russell into bowl. And oh, <laughs> badly played. He tried to stretch out to block it. The ball spun away down the leg side and in the end it barely even clipped the pad and the batsman really looked like a bit of a fool there. Russell into bowl and this time finally the batsman plays it well. A block shot, uh, two runs off the over, the run run and the, the bye. So it is 71 for no loss. Down the leg side, dot ball. So, Farrah to continue. Um, pretty much the same field. Except uh, I think the fielders have moved in about a couple of metres. Far into bowl. And it's a tef pushy shot. So, interesting that the batsmen, these two batsmen for Riverside, the opening batsmen, looked so in control in the first hour, or first half an hour of play. They just seemed like they knew what they were doing, they were going out and, and blocked again. And they were going to really uh, set about controlling this game, intimidating the Diamond Creek fielders, and really setting the terms of how this game will be played. But they have not then, after their good start, launched into something bigger. They've actually been held back. And so now, what are they going to do? Where is the next step? Where is the next gear that they can turn to? Because right now, they've actually gone down a gear since they began. And so, rather than going up a gear, you would expect them to be scoring a four or more runs per over by now. But the run rate's going down. Far into bowl, and it's a wild shot. Oh dear, that is what pressure does for you. It was short outside the off stump. This time, the batsman did not shift his feet and his body weight to get into position to play it. In the end, his feet were away to the leg side and he swung it really ugly. Dot ball there. And hits the pad. This is wonderful defensive bowling from Diamond Creek. And that should be the end of the over. That's, that, that is the end of the over, okay? So a maiden by Farrell. Wonderful, wonderful bowling. It's still none for 71. So, Russell's to continue to bowl from the childcare centre end. And it's a wild hit and the batsman misses, misses it. It hits his uh, body. Dot ball. Now, this is the chance. David Ramsey has got to take it. Put an attacking fielder in. Try something. Try... Um, try to really upset the batsmen. The batsmen are right now feeling the pressure. They're on the ropes. Uh, they're frustrated. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Russell into bowl. And hits the pads. So the run rate is now less than three. This is just wonderful, wonderful stuff from Diamond Creek. Keep going. Keep trying to squeeze out this uh, Riverside opening pair. And it's pulled, and oh no, it's beaten the gap, but the fielder at fine leg can't chase it, and it's four. That was some bad fielding there from the fielder at uh, backward, uh, backward square leg. He uh, did not die for it, or didn't even go to ground. He just sort of tried to kick it. So that is, um, that's a very disappointing shot, and some of the pressure has been eased off for Riverside. Russell into bowl, and not the not the best defence of shots you could imagine. Russell is really, uh, really on top of his game right now, and another defensive block shot. He looks so. Um, it looks like he's got any good rhythm, his fingers are in the right position, his feet are moving well, everything is just working for him. Russell is really on top of his game right now. And it's a big shot, and the fielder at backward square leg is unable to stop it. That is six. Well, a little disappointing. Um, 
and there's the ball. So there was 10 runs off it. It's none for 81. Okay, so Farrow's to continue to bowl. And oh, inside edge as he tries to play the defensive block shot. Another good, good ball. So there's much more of a, uh, let's see. So there's gully, backward point, forward point, cover, mid off. So five fielders on the offside. That's late cut, but unable to get the timing right straight to the cover fielder for a dot ball. So let's have a look at this. There's a so gully, backward point, forward point, or a cover point, then a cover, then a mid off. So it's going to be really, very hard to penetrate that offside field. Far into bowl. And again, defensively blocked. There's no chance of a run there. So. What is the plan? What is the plan um, for Riverside? Farrah into ball. Oh, the ball did not swing into the right hander as he fought. In the end, he tucked his bat away. So, so last week we saw the kind of defensive bowling that Diamond Creek are capable of by stopping lower plenty from advancing and actually saving the game through very good defensive bowling. Far into bowl and left alone. And now we're seeing the similar things. We're seeing rear guard action. Uh, rear guard action here. Uh, even though uh, the runs were starting to flow just a short while ago, just controlled bowling, doing the right little things. Far into bowl and oh. Inside edge, very bad shot there. Didn't know what he was trying to do. Gl leg glance or cover drive. And the over a maiden, it's still 81 for no loss. So, Farah is to uh, continue to bowl. Just by getting hit for 10 runs in the previous over, they've stuck the faith with him. And it's a wild hit, and it's going over the hit fielder of mid on, and, the the, uh, and it's just picked up just before the boundary. And they get two there. Well, now the question is um, for Russell, can he uh, bring about a, a wicket? Because the batsmen are definitely trying to break free of these chains that have been placed under. Oh, <laughs> that, was, um, that was the dart ball. In the end, it was too short to be a proper dart ball. And the batsman tried to swerve out of the way and kind of hit him on the arm. Russell into bowl and leg glanced but went down to fine leg for a dot ball. Russell into bowl and tries to play a clever little hip glance in the end uh, fails. I um, think a bit of a bit of a leading edge, just uh, unable to get contact right. So four dot balls from this over. Very good stuff from Russell. Now three dot balls from this over from Russell after the two. So very good ball stuff from him. Comes into bowl and pulled. And once again, the fielder at uh, deep backward square runs around, and just the one run there. Uh, that, that, that is a very good fielding position. Uh, he's already saved quite a few runs there at uh, deep backward square leg or a wideish fine leg, depending on your perspective. Russell into bowl. And left alone. End of the over. It's 84 for no loss. So, Faro to continue. And it's a big hit, 
but it's over the head of the mid wicket fielder and has to run around and they're gonna just get the one run. Well, I am very impressed by what David Ramsey is doing. He's not backing away, he's not being defensive, he's actually trying to get wickets far into bowl. And it's leg glanced and finally will ch come in and collect it. No way, it's the square leg fielder that comes in and gets it. Another run. So he realises that the run rate has gone down for uh, Riverside. It's now just about at three when it was at four. And uh, there is a real arm struggle going on right now to just see whether or not Riverside are able to break free. Because uh, they're, they're 80 for none. They're, they're in an amazing position. To, they're in a great position to score a very big 250 score today. But the question is, will they actually get the momentum through into the second half of the day to actually get that 250 score? Far into bowl. Bad ball, way down the leg side, dot ball. So obviously David Ramsey realises that this is the moment that they can really try to get some wickets by squeezing, by not backing down, by squeezing harder, by taking advantage of the situation. Far into bowl, and it's a big shot, and it's gone through the gap. So the mid between mid on and mid wicket, and in the end, the mid on fielder runs around a bad bad relay throw, but that's not going to cost them anything because they've already gotten two there. So. The, this uh, floppy hatted batsman has already played a number of expansive shots, uh, big thick edges. So far, he has not gotten out yet. Far into bowl. And oh, it's an edge and it's gone down to third man. And the field at Gully will pick it up for one run. So let's have a look at. Um, so we were looking at the field, and the fielders are pretty much in an orthodox position, but are about five meters closer. So they are huddling in close to the pitch, not allowing quick singles to be scored. Far into bowl, and it's a full toss, and it's cover driven. Oh dear! And in the end, the f it's a over no overthrows, but that would have been out. So it was a full toss, played the cover drive straight to the fielder at point. He called for the run and the non-striker was completely um, out, of, out of place for that. And in the end, uh, it was only a bad throw that saved it from a run out. So wonderful, wonderful stuff for Diamond Creek. It's a shame that they didn't get the wicket. Uh, it's none for 90.